Alright, so I was ringing up a character the other day, everything was coming together. Weights were solid, deformation was clean, nothing too crazy. And then it hit me. I needed to split a bone. Not just rename it or slide it around a little, I mean fully split it into multiple pieces. Mid-rig, mid-weighted, while everything else was already in place and working. If you've ever been there, you know the kind of headache I'm talking about. And that's exactly where the add-on I'll be showing you guys today comes in handy. Bone and Weight Splitter is the kind of add-on that doesn't just solve a problem. It erases it entirely from your workflow, making you start to rely on it without even thinking about it. So, once you've got it installed, just like any other Blender add-on, it shows up in the side panel under its own clean little tab. And now we're ready to start using it. You start by selecting your rig's armature and then the exact bone you want to split. Let's say it's the spine, or maybe it's a robot arm. It could be anything really. You tell the add-on how many segments you want to split it into. Two splits get you two bones, so use this value to give your bones as many cuts as you need. After that, you might want to play around with the weight boundary smoothness and set its value between 0 and 1. This slider controls how soft or sharp the transition between weights is. Set it to 0 for a more rigid falloff or go towards 1 for a smoother, more gradual blend across the new bones. And to help with that, there's a weight preview right beside the slider that will give you an idea of how the weights are going to be distributed across the chain before you commit. It's super helpful for testing out different values and finding what feels right before applying anything yet. Then, when you're ready, just hit the split bones and weights button and in a second, your old bone gets replaced with a clean, properly aligned chain. The naming is logical. The hierarchy stays intact and the new bones follow the same orientation. Parenting is preserved too, so if your rig had constraints, drivers or parenting chains set up, nothing breaks, everything keeps working like before. But beyond keeping your structure clean, what really makes this tool powerful is how it handles its weight painting. Because as soon as a split happens, the add-on automatically redistributes all the vertex weights. So, no repainting, no digging through vertex groups, no weird deformations. Your mesh keeps deforming just like it did before. Only now, you've got more articulation, cleaner control and zero hassle. Now, if you're rigging something symmetrical, like a human character or a creature with mirrored limbs, there's a symmetry option. You split one side and the add-on automatically applies the same split to the opposite side. The mirrored bones are created, the mirrored weights are recalculated and everything syncs up without you having to touch it again. And if your character isn't just one mesh, maybe it's a body with a separate clothing or a robot with different meshes, the add-on handles all of them at once. All affected objects get their weights updated to match the new bone structure. Everything stays in sync. There's more under the hood too. For instance, you can enable a setting called Use Connected to make sure the bones are joined together cleanly at the joints. This is super helpful when you're splitting fingers, tails or spines where continuous motion really matters. And there's a normalized weights toggle that keeps all the new vertex groups balanced. Now, what I really like is how it treats bone roll and alignment. The new bones inherit the original orientation perfectly. So, whether you're using IK, drivers or anything procedural, nothing freaks out and everything stays where it should be. It's one of those tools that doesn't feel like an extra, but it feels like something Blender should already do by default. And it's not just for organic characters either. You can use it on mechanical rigs, stylized rigs, and even animated props. So, if you've ever had to go back and split joints after everything's already weighted, you know how much cleanup that normally involves. This tool cuts all of that out. And here's the kicker. This add-on only costs $7. So, you can grab it from superhivemarket.com and I'll have its link in the description down below. It's lightweight, it's fast and it's the kind of utility you'll wonder how you lived without once you've tried it. So yeah, if you're a character artist, 
animator, or just someone who wants more control without starting from scratch, I'd say this is a must have. More tools like this are coming soon. As always, appreciate you hanging out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.